Hello, everyone. Uh, I've received a number of questions about money. So I just wanted to take a few minutes and walk you through um, the assignments and the requirements um, and just kind of give you an overview of what you need to do. Um, so to give you a sense, the big picture is to break down the thesis and break down the requirements for an introduction paragraph where you're thinking about your audience into really small steps so that you can repeat this once you get into future courses. One of the things I always tell my composition students is that you never want um, to learn a process without being able to repeat it because each time you'd be doing it um, as though it's the first time. And so this gives you a way that every time you have an assignment, you can break the assignment down into its component parts. So I'm just gonna share my screen, re screen really quickly. Here we go. And so this is the uh, creating a thesis statement. This is the decision tree. So the decision tree is the most basic part. So if I go into reviewing the guidelines, I'm gonna pull up an exemplar here. Let me go into the guidelines first. So for the guidelines, it says through this, in this assignment, you'll be guided through decisions in order to create a thesis statement for your project. So it just breaks it into these uh, six parts, right? So you're identifying your topic, you're stating your, the claim. So what's understood about your topic, what's true about your topic, um, and that this is your claim about how effectively the text connects to the audience that you uh, identified. And then you're also gonna talk about the claim itself and talk about why that claim is true. So is the claim effective for the people it's pointed at? Is the claim accurate based on the information that it states? And then you're gonna bring the whole thing together. And so that will end up looking like this. Let me just share my screen. The, this is for what everyone needs to know to be more productive. Um, it gives the author here. And so you have to identify what the topic of this article is, which you've probably, which we've already done, right? That's, that, this is work that's already been accomplished in the first three modules. And then what's the claim? What's the main idea that's being um, put forward in the article that you've chosen? And then you're gonna combine those, those two. So this is going to look like this. Productivity is important, but equally important is creating a balance between productivity and regular life in order to remain fresh and energetic for both. And if you notice, it doesn't just kind of glom these two together. Um, it, gives, it gives a synthesized version of the two. Now, if we move down into the second part of this thesis statement, um, the reason the claim is true, a second reason the claim is true, a third reason the claim is true, and then you're gonna combine all of these together. So you really get a complex statement. And so here's one, here's two, here's three, and it ends up sounding like she emphasizes, so she being the author, the value of productivity and the way to be a productive worker. She em emphasizes the importance of work-life balance is that does not offer as many ways to take a break and improve the potential side of life to create that balance. So this is all a little bit wordy. So if we were to just take productivity along with this claim, it would be wordy. And so what the thesis statement, what this combined thesis statement does, this final piece, is it's just asking you to pull all of these ideas together. So eliminate the redundancy, eliminate the things that, um, that, that don't create unique value for your paper. All right, so that's gonna be how you come up with this thesis statement. Now, this is the first half of, of this unit. The second assignment for this unit is going to be your preliminary introduction. Now, we say it's a preliminary introduction because this isn't necessarily the one that's going to be in your project, but this is the first part of your project. So this gets you past the beginning. And the nice thing is, um, you know, once you have your introduction, once you have a thesis statement, once you've thought about your audience, you are on a really good path to structure the rest of a paper. And we'll talk about that in, in uh, the next couple of modules.
But really a strong introduction is thinking about your audience as a writer. So we've done a lot to identify the text that you've chosen, who the original, the, that author's audience is, but you also have an audience. So you wanna think about who needs to hear the message. And we've already talked about that um, in, in previous modules. And so we're trying to draw our reader into our essay and show why the content that we're discussing is important. We're introducing the topic. We're giving a little bit of background information to bridge the gap between our, our draw and our thesis. And then we're connecting the thesis that you already wrote. So this is just that previous module that you're bringing into this module. And so that looks like this. So you're writing your sentences to draw the reader. Now, whenever we think about drawing the reader, you want to think about using a um, either a story or you're going to use, a, I like to use a statistic. Sometimes we use a question, although I think questions are a little bit overdone. Um, you know, you can kind of have a, a question that uh, doesn't go very deep. You know, have you ever needed to be more productive? Does it really actually draw the reader? Um, whereas by 2030, entire knowledge industries might be overtaken by AI workers, replacing people who would work on data or analysis, fast food and restaurant and fry cooks. This person um, who's, who wrote the exemplar is painting a picture of the future that they're hoping is going to capture their reader. And so, you know, this anxiety around AI and this anxiety about a culture of toxic productivity, um, you know, draws us in a little bit because it touches on something many of us have already thought about. And then it transitions. So you go from grabbing your audience to giving a little bit of background. Here's my topic, right? The article, what everyone knows to be more productive. Um, address these issues by focusing on workers who feel they're competing with AI. And then finally, we take the thesis statement that we've already built and we put that at the bottom. And at the end of this, it looks like you're writing a lot, but really what you're doing is you're just writing each of these pieces individually. And then at the end, you combine all of these sections to form your introductory paragraph. So if you take a look, this introductory paragraph as a whole is about 220, 230 words. Um, that seems about right for a paper of the size, the project of the size that we're writing it. Um, but certainly if yours is a little bit shorter than that or a little bit longer than that, this is just a preliminary draft. And so uh, we're just trying to get ourselves pointed in the right direction. So I hope that helps. I hope that uh, this overview gives us um, you something to think about. And um, looking forward to hearing what you have to say as we address this. Uh, there I am. <laughs> as we address this in uh, module four. As always, feel free to ask questions in the general discussion, uh, general question discussion, or by sending me an email or a text message directly. Thanks so much.